rising inventories when unaccompanied correspondingly. When un unaccompanied correspondingly. This kind of seems a little bit weird. A is probably not right. B. When not accompanied by corresponding increases in sales, possibly leads. Rising inventories. This plural thing, leads, is wrong. Rising inventories when they, they is not really necessary there. Rising inventories if not accompanied by correspondingly increased sales. This phrasing here is a little bit weird. Rising inventories if not accompanied by corresponding increases in sales can lead. Rising inventories can lead. So this is correct. Corresponding increases, that's correct. So E is the answer. Okay, so in terms of concepts, this is a split sentence. You have a comma here and a comma here. And the main crux of the sentence is rising inventories can lead to production cutbacks. Right? This is just descriptive phrase you know, so, you know, rising inventories can lead. You know it has to be lead. It cannot be leads. So, you know, B and, and D are no good. But, you know, just focusing on, on this last word. But looking at the answer choices, when, accompany, when unaccompanied correspondingly by increases. This phrasing is really weird with the LY here. And that's why A is no good. B had the issue with leads. C, when they, you don't, rising inventories, when they, blah, 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 you don't need to repeat a reference to rising inventories. So one option is to start with when, and the other option is to start with if. Rising inventories, if not accompanied by correspondingly increased sales, possibly leads. All right, so this, this is the issue here, and, and also leads is also the issue. Now, rising inventories, if not accompanied by corresponding increases in sales, right? This is this is phrased correctly. If this, you know, rising inventories can lead to blah 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 blah. So, for all these reasons, A, B, C, and D are wrong. E is the only one that's 